I, and I, I love I, Wayne. Yeah, me too. I love Wayne to death. Could I do? I think he could. Uh, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. And it's, 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 it's twofold. Do I think Luan could put get a 13 minute performance that would be fire right now? Yes, for the Super Bowl. Yes, I do agree with that. Do I think the people that put that together believe that? No, no. It's not about if, if if we as a fans believe it. They have to question if he gonna be high. Mm -hmm. If I gotta question that and think about it. That's big. That's billion dollar money, dog. And it ain't fair. I, I ain't, it ain't about being fair. That's just yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's that's just big. If you a live subscribe show with my podcast partner, NCP is in the building, y'all. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm really excited to be here. Um, <laughs> you were so freaking beautiful last night as usual. You know what I'm saying? You look, you look, you know, like, your events. You know what I'm saying? Thank and, you. Um, do you got what do you got anything coming up or anything? Or what's going on with Avery? Like, um, so I am supporting the um Nashville Cares AIDS Walk that's coming up. I'm obviously supporting uh Kamala. Okay, Camila Kamala. Y'all always get get on to me how I say her name, but I am supporting Vice President now, um, Democratic candidate for president, the Miss the Beautiful Miss um Walks. Walt's Harris campaign, and um, yeah, that's what's going on. That's what I got going on for the duration of the year. Um, and then I have some local things that I have. Obviously, holidays are coming up, so um, I'm gonna be tapping in with the community on that, giving back, supporting, volunteering, all of that nature. So, yeah. Um, before I I introduce my guest, yes. Well, G Slap, he's here. But look, <laughs> something <laughs> last night. I was at Vibes. Right. Shout out to Walker Flocker. Right. What For up? some reason, Walker Flocker is kind of making Nashville like his home. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, or whatever. Ooh, I he, ain't know that. He's down here a lot. Huh. What up, Walker? <laughs> but, Tapping with the boys. What's happening? But no, but this this might not seem like a lot, but it's a lot to me. Right. I walked up on him. I was like, hey, man, I was like, I see you been here in Nashville a lot, you know, kind of making it one of your spots to go to, I was like, man, you need to come to the hottest platform, which is if you're a live subscribe show. Mm -hmm. And so this is what he did. He was like, oh, it's, it's the hot show. He said, he ain't got to do nothing but tell me to come. He was talking about Buck. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm asking, you know what I'm saying? I'm asking you for my, you know what I'm saying? For myself. Yeah. But my point is making it is like, Nobody owes nobody nothing. nothing. Right. But if you got the pool to say, hey, go here, you know what I'm saying? I would just think a person would do that. And now I'm not even talking about like Buck. Like I'm just talking about in period, general, point general, blank. Yeah. And I'm talking about the history of Nashville. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the day, it's like this, like um, I've done done stuff for everybody in the city. You know what I mean? And I don't expect nothing back. But if we just point the finger, like, we just got to get better on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just yeah. got to get better on that. I mean, lifting each other up is the biggest thing we got to do right now. Because we got to, we, we, they looking at us now. More than ever, we can, we can, we can have a real run right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? On all levels, in media, music, uh, uh, acting, like, we could have a real run mm -hmm. if sure. we just keep, it's 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 Everybody a, it's a spider web. It's, it's it's really not a ladder. It's a spider web. I think yep. people forget about that. Like to spread it out, you want to go up. What you do is you pull everybody go up, and this person go up, and I can lift you up through the side of you. Right. Boom, come over here, and then we go going up this way. Make it lonely. Yeah. And so, when you fall, I can't catch you. Yeah. Cause I can't even get on the ladder. Yeah. So if it's, it's really a spider wheel to go sideways, then build up. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people uh, is is trying to do that, and a lot of people just kind of forgot that. I love that analogy, G, because it's like if we shift, I always talk about perspectives. You know, it's all about perspectives, and everybody just has to really work with their mind, really work with their brain to shift narratives, shift, pers shift perspectives, and then I think collectively we could grow. But everybody, and everybody do it. ain't going to. Go for that philosophy. Like, you can't, yeah. everybody ain't gonna think that. But way. I mean, but it's crystal and you gotta be clear, okay though. with that. This is the thing because there's a lot of people that go with logic. What yeah. I'm saying is that narrative or that 
analogy is very is crystal clear. Yeah, I so it, it makes perfect sense. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And, so that's what I'm saying. When you got when you got examples like that, that make perfect sense. It's yeah, like, I think it's people no just don't top. understand. I think people just don't understand it because they don't want to. You know, it's sometimes but hard to get your. But we all a picture though. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, because I, I get what you saying though. It, it's, it's hard to get just, I'm just trying to. I'm really backing your word. No, I you appreciate know what I'm that. I, I was going out with kind of what Rick was saying, but we saying like, I'm letting him know, like everybody ain't gonna think like that though. Yeah, but no, you, it, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's not. And you can't focus on the ones who don't think like that. We can't even when they get to that type of they own, they, 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 they a motherfucker get that on, on their own way. Facts. You gotta get you gotta get to that way of thinking in your own way. Everybody time and different. You dig what I'm saying? Like Adriana's trying to build with people. That's, that's she she on that time. You on that time. I'm on that time. Everybody not gonna be on that time, and you gotta be frequency. okay until they on that time. And when they over here, come on, I get you. You went through it. You understand it now? Okay, what's up? Mm -hmm. We we know we know Nashville's growing, but G, what do you really think the state of hip hop in Nashville is? A, a real analogy of, of where we are right now and not where we going to be, but, but a real analogy. Where are we right now? Hold on, Ricky. Before we get into questions, can we get can we give a real introduction to G? Can we do that? Look, go ahead. <laughs> nah. Um, six one tribe. Yeah. yeah. Um, big G slab. Yeah. One of Cashville's people who is roots, actually roots. Home bring girl. it together. Mm -hmm. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And one of the people that's actually authentic, and I want to, because I want to uh, get your props on this. I'm glad you said that, because it took me back to this. I get so much flack right. from a person. I might tell a person, like, hey, we going to get up on the show. You know what I'm saying? I have to vet you before I put you on the show. Mm -hmm. I have to make sure that you are worthy of coming on the show. Not like this just the greatest show on earth, but like it's yours it's mine and i want to know something about you yeah. you know what i'm saying before yeah. i just put you here mm -hmm. and for for you g like we talked about it one time we said we're gonna get up and that was about that might have been about six months ago yeah we and we the, hit, the jail thing, yeah. and we here now you yeah. know what i'm saying and so you didn't give me no big old flack on like oh i need to be on the show divine timing divine timing you know what i'm saying so um i just want to yeah. shout out to you for that, so yeah, just for being patient. Nah, look, look. I don't put no. I don't think it's no pressure on it because, like you said, everything happened when it's supposed to happen. You know what I mean? Like this happened right now because it's supposed to happen right now. Uh -huh. You know what Most I mean? Like I can't. You feel me? And you got your own structure. How you trying to build your shit? Like a lot of people forget that this is your, this is yours. This is your structure. This is how you vision. You have a vision for your for what you going to do. I can't. That ain't me to dictate when that when that happened for you. Facts, you know facts. what I mean? Because I wouldn't want nobody to try to dictate with your album. You know what I'm saying? If you I ain't trying, you can't tell me when I'm ready to drop. You can't tell me when I'm ready to go even or go on a run and do an interview with somebody. I may right. not want to. Man, oh, you should go do that. Too. Somebody learned what uh, uh, Whiskey Leaf said that a long time ago. He said they was trying to get him on, uh, I think, a Drake tour. He was like, man, he denied doing a tour. Not on no diss to Drake. It was more like, no, I need to build my own mm -hmm. name up yeah. so I can stand on Wiz Khalifa. Facts, facts. And we see what that panned into, and 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 everybody got to kind of do it their own way sometimes that way. So I don't, I don't look at no nobody saying, "Hey, I'm gonna get you right because I, I rock with you." Yeah, just, just take my line. And when time is, it's time. Six one tribe, yeah. G slab. We in the building. Um, I wanna I wanna say I appreciate you for coming. Off time. Uh, it's an honor for both of us. You know yes. what I'm saying? It ain't no. I'm the big person. We all trying to make it to the same place. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? And so yeah, it's an honor. Yeah. Then it's, it's Cashville. Like I, and I, I know I don't say it enough. I said enough. Avrona, like the reason why I, I mess with Avrona, like I do, first of all, cause she ain't honor the person. Now, Come on now. Second of that all, part. second of all, she's really about the city. You know what I'm saying? She's really, she's really the voice and she's actually speaking in rooms for the city and actually putting on right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you. I mean, it's a, she's, a, she's a proponent. She's a she's 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 blood, sweat, and tears of this. On top of she's an asset for what we need to make this grow. You gotta understand who the assets in the city is, Thanks. who makes these things better, who under who makes these things uh, expand out. Um, some I heard Christ say a long time ago. I, I can't put on for my city if I'm always in my city. Mm -hmm. 
Facts. So she has to when she as she grows, she will grow. Most definitely. And grow and grow. And but she's gonna be a proponent for the city. city. Facts. Well, as I grow, I grow and I grow. As you grow, we grow, but we still Cashville. Yeah. And and Cashville should be proud of that. Yeah. Facts. We have to get we have to we can't hold our our, our gems to ourselves. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? We got we gotta let them spread out and do their thing and do their thing how they do their thing so they can go nationwide. Yeah. So they can go to the to bits of bigger platforms. Yeah, so we can uh, uh, tour across the world yeah. and put on for what the what the culture of the city is. Facts. And and be proud of that. Yeah. Cause then that's just motivation for the next for the next one to do it. Cause now you know it's possible. Yeah. You see, a, you see a bunch of us doing. Now you it. know it's possible. Mm-hmm. Now you see, you it's a, oh, it's a real culture. You see, it's a culture of people expanding beyond what you thought was possible for Nashville, for Cashville. Right. Oh, it's shit, never been something. done. Yeah, right. we can do some. Oh, I ain't slapped. Oh man, Ricky. Oh, they, they, oh yeah. yeah, it's possible. Yeah. I um, that's why I know for one hundred percent fact the right people has to get in position. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. everybody. Everybody ain't a, a, a quote unquote a boss. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Everybody, everybody ain't a leader. I don't care how big you get, wherever you go. Everybody ain't ain't called to lead. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, that's that's that's, that's a that's a that's a divine calling. You can't you can't you mind you can't you can't you can't fake out because because the frustrations of being a leader is 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 not based in your feelings. Yes, Facts. it is. So it's based in your faith. It's it's a, I can't so. It's dark days. Yeah. This day people think you got oh man, Slay, I don't never see you, bro. Really complain like you don't know what I went through last Listen, week. You don't the know walk what with I went God through. is crazy. You don't know, you know, I, I told you on my interview, like yeah. it's it's the walk the walk with Jesus is crazy, but it's like when the fruit come, the fruit come. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's just yeah. like you gotta be down for 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 the journey. Yeah, I think that and that's the, the biggest thing when people have they they expectation what they think life mm-hmm. is gonna be for them. Mm-hmm. That's when you kind of lose yourself in it. You got to strip yourself of what your expectation is. You just kind of do it. Yeah. Like the over the overthinker never got nothing done. Mm. You feel what I mean? Mm. And the under the plant, the one who didn't plan never got nothing finished. So you got to kind of have a medium of knowing where you want to go and understanding. And understanding, that you that, hey, you got to be ready to pivot. Because yeah. yeah. the only thing constant is bitch, change. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be consistent. It's she gonna change. Yeah. You, you know, I don't I don't think like this. I don't think like, oh, once I get a million dollars, I'm gonna give you something. I feel like we can come up together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I say for instance, if I if I sign to revolt today, right. I'm not gonna wait until I get this big old person on revolt to actually bring somebody in yeah. with me. I'm gonna off the top some people that I mess with, like, hey man. You know they might like you. You know what I'm saying? I'm all. You know I'm all. I'm gonna spread that love and not trying to wait. I mean, you, you, I get but it. I feel a, like this is a proven concept. Our, what you're saying, right? Our now. generation is doing that. I feel like this new, like I, I, I only can speak for like my generation, but you know what I'm saying. So like, I feel like we are collectively doing exactly what you're saying. 100. Like we're collectively working together in our own lane. Sometimes it, sometimes it's all of us. Sometimes it's two, three of us. Sometimes it's four, five of us. Sometimes it's one of us. You know what I'm saying? But I think we the understand. Bleeds, yeah. I yeah. think I think a lot more like minded people are finding each That's other. That's it. I think I think I think I think and we bunching up. We are we, yeah, because because we because you also get sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's yeah. it. I always say you ain't gonna you ain't gonna keep doing it until you really get tired of doing it. Like the same shit. Like like. Trying to lose weight, just trying to trying to stop smoking cigarettes, just trying to start you until you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. Until you tired of trying to do everything yourself, and trying to do everything and trying to, we we got into this bad uh um uh, um self made mentality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that, that hindered a lot of us who may have had sixty seven percent of the play, but you needed other thirty though. That's it. You need somebody else to send an email. You need somebody else to speak for you. You needed somebody else to. You gotta honor that, and, but you gotta you gotta understand who you gotta have a vision to know that. Mm-hmm. And right. you know, somebody always told me, uh, first rule of entertainment is don't get a manager. You got something to manage. That's mm-hmm. it. So you gotta do some things by yourself and get yourself off the ground. And and, and to talk yeah, people can, and learn to be people don't help you until they see you helping yourself. Facts, one hundred percent. So all the favors or the love I didn't got from people saying they gonna do something for me or something like that, it, it, didn't, it don't start, it didn't start until I say, fuck it, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Yeah. It don't start until I say, you know what, it's like, you know, I was asking you earlier, like, uh, what's, what cash view, what's going on, what we need and all that type of stuff. Just do it. Yeah. 
Stop complaining. Just, Stop having the conversation about what's the problem. Y'all know the problem. Well, yeah, we know the problem. No problem. We've been knowing the problem. <laughs> yeah. Most humans know what to do. They just don't do it. Yeah, facts. So let's let's stop going over and over in circles about man. We need to work together. We know that. Yeah, you niggas know that. Ain't nobody got to tell you, you need to work together. Yeah. Well, I'm well. I'm saying this. We already doing it. You gotta no put one got to tell you. We already working. It's, no it's, one got to tell you that 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 that, 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 that uh, to make money you got to make money. Mm-hmm. No one got to tell you. Gotta, you don't have to put. You gonna put some money up for something. Yeah. No one should have to. We at that point in life, like it ain't it ain't rocket science it's no game. more. Yeah. Is if you want to do it and you care enough. Thanks. Do you really care about this or do you care about yourself? Mm-hmm. Do you want and people don't understand you get taken care of once you care about other people. That's it. The most I didn't got in life. That's true. Is doing for other motherfuckers. That's true. And I see that. I mean, and I, I'm just to piggyback off of that. It's like, I feel like that with the TV show. Yeah. It's like, ATP is the one that putting out the bread for the production. And da, 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 da. But so for what? So my people can shine. So we can put a platform out there for my nice. people. But you know what I'm saying? Some people, you know what I'm saying? Some people may not see it like it, but they don't understand. But it's just like, like, when I start doing it, now I got sponsors. Now people want to help. Now right. people want to. So he's saying, like, it's like. Well, it's a lot of people don't right understand right. Uh, overhead. A lot of people don't understand the budget. A lot of people don't understand overhead. Like, these things cost, too. Yeah. You have to. People so people got bills. People Services services cost and yeah. rendered. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. When every round did six one five days for me, that wasn't a free thing. I love, she love me, but she she got, she got bills. Yeah. You feel what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that it, when 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 Sweet Poison come and she she that's all that she she got a budget when Brian Brown certain people and do I get sponsorship to help from certain people? Yeah, we got boom this but and that and stuff covered? like that. Nah. But some of it's just they cover a service. I just ain't got to pay for that. It ain't like I, they paid me to and gave me a, a check to put their brand on this mm-hmm. shit. Some of it's just hey, we believe in what you're doing. Proof of concept. Yeah. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go back to my question, what I asked first, but I, but but since you brought up yeah. 615 Day, I want to talk about 615 Day. Yeah, let's do that. Like, um Beautiful. What's the purpose or what's the plan for 615 Day? Because to me, it seemed like it's like all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people are different entities trying to represent what they feel now if you want what what it stands for, right? Uh-huh. Um for me. This for this year was to try to bring us together. Okay, just try to First. do it together. That's that I mean. It's just Cavill. Let's bring Cavill. I'm not Cavill alone. Yeah, facts. You feel what I mean? I, how, how can I be? You feel what I mean? So we call people. Can you do this? Would you like to be part of this? Would you like to be part of this? Some people say yeah. Some people say no. Cause they got their own thing going on. Mm-hmm. That's no kind of what she said. Sometimes we all come together. Sometimes yeah. only three or four of us. And facts. You know, and that's how and that's okay to do it like that. I think to to celebrate Nav on that big of a scale, you need a board of people. Most to definitely. organize one big thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to work on next year for next year. I got a meeting with the mayor in November to talk about a few things that I'm meeting with him about. But one of those is that to plan 615 day for 2025. Now, let me put a board of people together that I know care about the city and can work together who already kind of have connections and business. And let's try to see if we can get a budget. That's just the plan. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I hope it do. At least she ain't just got a concept. <laughs> no, no, it ain't just a concept. These, these are real. These are real plans. <laughs> I already got, got this plan. written down. I yeah. kind of know people if, in place. I kind of want to call. I don't that, call you know. people until we have the plan. And that's why a lot of people don't plan stuff to that T of it. Yeah. They do have just concepts and yeah. ideas, but they don't have nothing like. No, I, knew gee, I, I was being call. funny. I was being funny because you know, you know, Donald Trump said he he had concepts. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the and not, and not no plans. <laughs> so I, was, I was being funny. I was being funny. But no, 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 no. no. <laughs> keep it, keep it, keep it. Keep, no, 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 no. Get back to the. Keep, keep, keep it the bad thing. Keep the animals, thing. baby. Hey, eat the animals. Yeah, Listen. Eat no, 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 no. Get back to the no. bad thing. I was just saying, I was just like, you know, I was being funny. Like, I wasn't, I was trying nah, to be Nah, that's funny. No, um, he was like, got a plan. At least he got a plan, not a concept. But yeah, a lot a lot of people, like, what we planning for, 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 for next year is is something where we bring people together. But I don't call I don't call people until I know I don't like put uh premature things. I don't right. like put like premature it's things. Like we're we're like I call it. Hey, I don't think we're gonna do this. Yeah. It ain't nothing. Ain't nothing been solidified yet. It's just an idea. Like I don't like that. And and, and even we when we're talking about six one five day and we're talking about the big wigs uh in entertainment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? How do we get them on the board? You know what I'm saying? How do we get? How do we get? a real board of people to come together as a collective and do, do it? Uh, People got to want to lend their time. 
That's always the biggest thing. You know what I mean? Time is the biggest currency. So people got to want to live their time. Um, it's got to be, you know, it's got to be a budget. It's got to be something where people are getting paid for services, especially if they, this is what they do professionally okay. on a regular basis. You know what I mean? Like, if you if you are a coordinator of events, then I have to pay your, your, your I got to pay you some type of fee for your coordinator event. That you, that's what you put, that's what you do. You know the ins and out of what you do. Yeah. If I got a VR equipment, if I, if I got hosts and stuff like that, these are, y'all have service fees and stuff like that. Certain artists have, Reach they sell through they they get paid most definitely and they have a budget of what they deserve and stuff like that. So this this has always been a thing about people bringing resources and time together. And people got to know that you may may break even, you may lose some of the first couple of things. Yeah. yeah, you got to be okay with that. Yeah, that like if I was talking, about, I said I was talking uh, my home girl. She was talking about me like being an artist and certain things. I was like, if you looking here to get like kind of rich fast, I think this is like a hustle this ain't, like that. This ain't, yeah, this ain't that. This ain't yeah. that. Like this ain't, and it this really like never has yeah. been. Yeah, I think I think because the internet confuses people. Yep, that's it. Some of these dudes ain't got money for real. Some of them. Don't that ain't rap money? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? And some and some of it is is uh through other uh, avenues of branding and stuff like that, where they've accumulated stuff online and stuff like that, where that not get money this. from just the music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you gotta understand this is a full circle thing, and a lot of this is perception and uh perception and perspective. Yeah. So what are you in this for? What you really want to do it for? You feel what I'm saying? If you want to do it for 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 some quick rip, you might man go 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 hustle and get a job, bro. Go do something different, bro. Like you might be gonna learn how to pick a camera up. Yeah, you'll get more. You'll get more I'm being so serious too. Yeah. You'll get more. I know more videographers with more uh, money yeah. than rappers. Yeah. I know the DJs who know how to work equipment who can produce got more money than rappers. Right. If you're looking for a quick, quick money to get out of this, it's go do something industry. that can that can get a skill set with your hands or with your mind and go do that. Yeah, yeah. because that will make you more actual money. Than trying to just be an artist yeah. and trying to seem like you have money. Yeah. yeah. It just nah, will. I get it. I get it. But so it, my thing is. I, she love what she do. Yeah. She don't do this just because it's she thinks she was going to get popular. Because now she love what she do. Thanks. You love speaking. You love helping. You love doing this. You fell Thanks. in love with this. Thanks. It's 100%. a process. A yeah. day-to-day it. situation it is. of what I do every day. When I say I want to be a CEO and I want to be a boss and I want to, who I, man, I that's a day to day thing. Yeah. I pay money every day. Yeah, yeah. on something. <laughs> on something. Yeah. I don't have a, I, this ain't my bill week. I don't got yeah. that. Back. Yeah. I paid taxes for the last three years. Yeah. This ain't, these ain't easy things to do. So on top of we talking about our own bills, we talking about your regular, you got to live at house. Yeah. I got a kid. Mm-hmm. How Parents, many, things. How, how many people in, is in six one trial. Oh, it is seventeen official artists, um, one DJ, two videographers, engineer, me as executive producer and part owner, the engineer, my Aaron Death, which is the part owner of the LLC, um, our headquarters, um, East side uh uh man at the manor, east side studio. Yeah, like twenty six. You got you got about twenty yeah. okay. 27. I asked you, I asked you okay, that, that, like, that, that, that that sooner or later we gotta figure out how to make I that, asked you that yeah. for a reason. Uh the history of Cashville has always been let's get behind this one artist and go. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so with six one tribe. Why ain't everybody putting all their energy behind one artist and and then get in the door? Because we've realized that attention, uh, the new thing is not about music, it's about attention. Okay. So you have to spread the, you have to uh, take out, take up the marketplace of music. Mm-hmm. It's not about, it's not about your one thing. It's about concept. the marketplace of music. So if the marketplace of music is 15, or, we have 17 tribe. artists and all of them is under the umbrella of six, six one tribe. Mm-hmm. It's eating up the we, market. We took up 30% of the marketplace. Okay. So now, Andre Wolf can be the most popular out of us. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. facts. Intellect can be the most popular. G Slag can be the most popular. Yeah. Cashmere Crew can be the most popular. Peso mm-hmm. Tax can be the most popular. It don't really, Black Woods can be the most popular. Yeah. It don't really matter because we understand the momentum of the numbers. Okay. So as, and, the industry or the gang or fans always weird out who their favorites are. Yeah. That's gonna happen anyway. That's just, that's go to a band. Go to your, your favorite band. Yeah. 
Jodeci, Casey and JoJo. Yeah, facts. You feel what I'm saying? NSYNC, Justin Timberlake. Mm-hmm. They always figure out who they favorite, favorite. is, yeah. and, they, and that person, and eventually you know what happens? You get behind that person. Yeah, most definitely. You feel what I'm saying? Most but definitely. you got to have enough, enough art to spread out, and we understand different avenues. We got stuff we uh, pitching for sync. We got stuff like for you know, commercials and movies and stuff like commercial and, and, and sports and stuff like that where we can get a bed of where you can make money mm-hmm. and actually thrive mm-hmm. off your mm-hmm. art so you can put in your money for your own solo he, career he as well. And, and, put, and now you get it. to and now you get to build on that's what I mean by the sideways to go up. That's that, that's always been if you go look in the cities that we're talking about that are our cities, they don't have a one. I just feel like that's because that's been the concept because we've you know what I'm saying? It's like crap in a bucket mentality here in Nashville. And we've been standing now who, who it's pops. opening up. You know, it's opening yeah, up. Yeah, if you it go look just... at every good city of music, when we talk look about hip hop and Look at Memphis. Look, look at Atlanta. Like, go look, look at Memphis. Go look at Atlanta. Go look at Detroit. New York. Go look at Chicago. Yeah. Look at New York. Yeah. Look at LA. I'm just giving you a thousand examples where it's never been one. Just one. one. It's Fact. no such thing. But that's that. I feel like that's what that's what that's what the industry wanted us to believe because it was so. Cleaned up with country, but now you have. It's a new... also because we only had one for so long. Yeah, true. It's it's the state of, of of nationwide success. You see what I'm saying? So true. and now because we have the internet and social media, it's nationwide success pool. looks different. Yeah, you know, it looks it's not it's the, not the it's, same. It's not the same. We're not buying record uh, uh, sales. Where 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 book is Pulling with fifty and it's one person that you cause you gotta go to the store and support and boom like mm-hmm. that it's 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 so spread out like mm-hmm. it's, it's that was twenty years ago that concept is it's outdated different. Mm-hmm. yep that concept is outdated we can you can have a city that has Brian Brown six one tribe Trapper Man everybody from music yeah. city it makes right. sense uh uh if you stand you can have a whole bunch of people ABK Gates you can have just a array of people, people. Mm-hmm. Right. that represent a culture mm-hmm. cuz we're not building a sound anymore we're building a culture, culture. Yes. of what we're trying to show what show what people look is yeah. so you got people who care about culture more than just a sound a sound yeah, yeah. what does casual feel like yeah what does it look like when you walk in that thing yeah so then you go to the place we you talking about you was at that one night. Then they but we had the all white party last night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we had and then we uh you got makeshift, which is culture. That's mm-hmm. a, I call it makeshift the black cheers. Right. Well, you know what I mean? It's like it's like that's that's yeah. our that's yeah. our black when we that's our thing that we can go yeah. to yeah. on a Friday and go kick it and just then go to the, the club club you want to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. You got them nerve. You got you 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 got a roasted. You got these are things that are building culture around the city Absolutely. on top of the neighborhoods that we still have that that have not uh, just lost their identity through gentrification and stuff like That's that. It. You know what I mean? Do you okay, think we are taking care of these being used right, or what? What you know what I mean? Or what can we do better? We, I mean, in certain atmospheres, we have and we have not. We have yeah. and we have not. I'm yeah. realistic about that. You know what I mean? R P. You know what I mean? Uh, Condolences to everybody who got happened with that thing, happened to Rosa or this shit like this. Yeah. We have and we have not. Yeah. yeah. That's just the truth. Yeah. But I think because people know we want to have it now, we constantly thinking about how to do better about it. Yeah. And that's that's all you can really add. We how human, you can man. Do we gonna we, 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 we flaw, mm-hmm. man. We human, man. Yes, yeah. And we country niggas. We ain't never really had nothing. Yep. You know what I mean? Like we becoming truth. a city. Yeah. We yeah. was a big town. Like you said, we building the culture. We building the, the culture, culture through day to day activities and stuff like that. So yeah, we we know how to take care of and stuff, but we might we might we might fumble a couple of things, man. It is yeah. it, it is it yeah. is what it is, but we can get better though. Yeah, as long as we want to get better, that means that's that's all we can really can kind of go for at that point. You feel me? Mm. Yeah, G. I want to talk about your um your artistry and first first your artistry and your connection to Cashville. I mean, you you know your you know your musicality and connection to Music City. Um, but first off, I want to talk about how I first met you. I want to say I met you at the Exposed Nashville. Showcase, you remember that? At um, was yeah. was that the first time I saw you perform? Was that the? No, see, I, that? I didn't perform. You saw me. You mm. did meet me there. I was at that was uh, at, uh I didn't perform and expose. That was exit in. It was at exit in. Uh, Petty, I think Tim. Okay. It was a few, but not because I know everybody. I was just on yeah. stage with yeah. been people, okay. people kicking and stuff like that. But yeah, that was that was it. That was it. I do but, remember that. But I want to say, um, the time I'm talking about, I actually seen you perform, and when I actually seen you perform, and I was listening to your lyrics, it was just like a deeper connection for me personally because it's like, oh wait, he he's saying stuff I know about. Wait a minute, he's talking about down the street. He oh yeah, yeah you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You know he down, you know he down he down the street around away, and so it's just like, um, I know that you are now part of 
um, 6-1 tribe, but I want to talk about, you know, the camaraderie of East Nashville musicians at a point of time when you were coming up. It was it was way different people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was, it was, it was, it was so different. Dog. Like, yeah. yeah. But, so I want you to share, you know, those, if you don't mind sharing those names and talk about how that movement was so grand at that time and what happened and, you know, yeah, you know. Um, it wasn't a culture in Nashville. Like, we can, we, it was, when I mean rap music culture, it was rappers in Nashville. Mm -hmm. City had culture, so that's two different things. We Nashville, Cashville, if you know it was about our come, country come together day. I'm talking about the culture of Nashville. We're talking about coming together, going to Hadley Park, old school car with the M&Ms on or sitting at the window. I'm talking about real old tissue when when it went through the, when it used to go through out west, when it, before they, uh, yeah. yeah, like, I'm, I'm my, my people, they, we from that, like, I'm, a real, I'm a 1990 Cashville baby. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, born, I'm a Baptist baby. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. So I'm Same. a real born and raised in this yeah, thing. Yeah, you yeah, dig yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, out East, Tom Joy, Jones, Delway, Inglewood. Like, this, these, these is where I'm from. This is, my, this is what I love. You feel what I mean? Um, I was, uh, and when we were talking about music and running that 2010, 11 time and stuff like that. I mean, I was, uh, and I was just petty, Coming out of the it was it was Petty, um um PA Lick, oh Bizzo, um Loke, A Loco the Man, um shout out to KB, uh shout out to uh, B shooting who was like camera, like it was it was it was a uh he ran that time Duck O McFly. Um it was I didn't understand how he, how simple it was then. We we was just we didn't know we was like the Wild Wild West. We didn't know we was doing. Yeah, we was bringing out venues at uh at at, 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 uh, at uh the end. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to J Dot. We did our own shows and I remember Bay DJ Fest Jazzy T was Jazzy there. Jazzy T, mm -hmm. I mean, Quill, like Quill. Yeah. Quill was old. Like I got old videos on YouTube with Quill when Quill when Quill. Hey Quill, make sure you stay in that gym, my boy. Yeah, yeah. When mm -hmm. Quill was skinny, as Quill. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like yeah. for real, no hell. You yeah. know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like for real. Um. My boy CJ the kid, like it was a whole bunch of it was it was it was different. DJ hybrid, um, it was if I'm missing names, blame on my head, not my heart. You dig what I'm saying? But it was it was a hell of a time, bro. Like we, were, we were having fun. It was an experience. We were really having. We didn't understand what we was really doing, bro. Was. Like we we didn't understand what we was we was really setting a tone. Show us for um my boy Zach. He, uh, he managed Tim Jim. Tim Jim was around that time, like coming up and come coming back and forth, Clarksville, coming to Nashville and stuff like that. Like um Case on him. Like it's it's a bunch a bunch a bunch of people. Like and he around that time when when all the, all my training like like uh like young Tyd was you know what I mean when they was doing Struggle Strive and all that was coming up and. All all that type of stuff, like, it was a time in Nashville that we were just trying to do shit. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what we was really doing for that. I know, now I know. Like, I thought we did. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. now that I know, we did. We were just freestyling, really. Literally, man, just come together, going eight niggas in one crib. Yeah. You know what I mean? Record, just getting on songs. Hey, bro, I hear you on this right here, bro. Why don't you get on this? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you feel me? Going to parties. You know what I mean? Creating friendships and, 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 and most of them lifelong. Like, so I'm still cool with it ninety ninety five percent of everybody I just said you know what I mean and when I'm I'm I, you know if I'm not cool it's because they dis it's dissing ain't because we ain't cool it's just they moved out they moved or something like that you dig what I'm saying um, yeah but it was I just want to say on the outside looking in it was a beautiful thing and I was young you know what I'm saying I'm still I mean I was way younger than y'all so I'm just just now coming outside I'm just like we was, yo like I think this I is was crazy twenty I was twenty. 21, I wasn't even drinking some of them, some of them, like, I was, yeah, I wasn't even drinking some of them, I, was, I couldn't even go, we was outside, young nigga going back and forth, different cities, going to Atlanta, going, we was doing A3C, going to South yes, by Southwest, trying movement. to establish shit, you feel me? Literally. But, uh, we were the, I always say, we were the first blog era rappers in Nashville. What, what happened? Two Wheels on the Cloud, Break on the Cloud. Yeah, I remember that. People expanded. Some people just like like just, two L's on the cloud became Nash Fields. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. but yeah, she stepped it up. That's how she was Shout out to the GOAT. The least spoke she did what she was supposed to do. And they, uh, other people, like I just read my boy Rob who had a break on the cloud uh, at, a, at a boom bap a few weeks ago. And same thing. People, I mean, he was a lawyer. He was a lawyer by trade. It was just and, a stepping stone. Yeah, for it, was just, it was a stepping stone. And everybody, and either you 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 cherished and understood what it was and, and, and you Try to do more, or that was your time. You, you want to do this? Yeah. You found something else to do. You do. Yeah. That. That's what I mean by some people. Some people are talking about they shoot videos now, yeah. and they happy. 
some people do other stuff in the industry because they still love this. Yeah, yeah. they, they still the love game. this aspect 100%. of life. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the freedom of being in these, these 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 spaces and stuff like that. And they did different shit. Some people designers, cl- clothing designers, and it's like it's it's shit fire. I love it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like like you just find a way how to do it. So how, how, so so now with you kind of know what you're doing. And how how do you be the leader of all these people? You know what I'm saying? And like everybody stay on one accord. Cause they allow me to. I can't do nothing to them, but they don't allow me to. I can't. I think that's a mistake. A lot of leaders think they say how I I I do. I, they allow me to. Right. They they trust in what I say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we have conversations. We meet twice a month. No matter if they here, there, whatever. We meet twice a month. When I leave here, we actually, I got I got a meeting. Thanks. I got I got a Google meet me with them soon. I leave here. Mm-hmm. Uh. And we like family, bro. We really locked in like that. You feel what I mean? Like, like my little, most of them, like, like my little brothers and a couple of them older than me too. You feel what I mean? It's, it's a wide age group, yeah. and it's and it's black men trying to trying to do something with camaraderie that we don't really see too much as much as we should. You feel yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But how do, how does everybody stay humble in the sense of? Everybody want to be the one, no matter. I, I feel like, I know, what, say you know what I'm saying? I, I feel know, like okay, they I all know. do. I feel like because when I'm around them, like, I feel like y'all all do, like, the G. inner work, G. Like, yeah, I we, feel like everybody say, is collectively everybody doing that artist, inner work. Everybody got ego. So what you saying is right. Everybody artist. Everybody got an ego. But ain't nobody ego really been bigger than the mission. Mm, I like We're that. We're trying to get to it. Yeah, facts. Like, you can, you, what's, what's 100% of zero? <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you can, you can, you can, because, and we have a saying, too, and that just includes me. If you can do it alone, you would have been and did it. That's it. 100%. If That's you could, if you could have did it alone, you would have been there already. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't, we wouldn't even have the, I wouldn't have the opportunity to meet you. Yes, Because you would have already done it. Mm. You'd have been divinely done. Yeah, I, you'd be past my, 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 who you are. Oh, this, oh, he from there, he from there, I ain't that, you already be there. Yeah. yeah. I love it. That's why. And, and, and I'm, I'm, we real with each other like that. Hard truths. Hard truths. You know what I mean? And like, y'all are black men, so I love that y'all can have that that conversation, yeah, right. those real yeah. conversations. And you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and you know, get past yeah. it or whatever. Have those hard conversations. Because a lot of people don't understand that, like, this industry requires real hard conversations. You You're know, good. conversations that make you feel uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. But it's like conversations that need to be had. You know what I'm saying? Just and I look niggas dead in their eyes when I talk to them. Yeah, that's it. Like, I, Respect, I, told, I told him, give me five years. If I don't got nothing for you in five years, you don't feel like you done nothing next in five years, you can go, bro. I promise you, I won't feel no way. Because you gave me your word. Yeah. And nothing producer, you got nothing out of it, then you got nothing out of it, you can go part. Or you, you we did get something out of it, and you still ready to part your ways because you, you I, I can do, I think I can do something on my own now, bro. And grind, gang. Mm-hmm. So yeah. is it a, is it a structure when it comes when when it comes to putting out the music? Mm. Is it a structure of this person's coming out or this? So how does how yeah does, yeah we got that though. okay how do, yeah, okay. yeah we got that we got cool. we got a schedule okay mm-hmm. yeah, we got I mean, it got to be playing yeah you got you got to be yeah. it can't be a free for all you know what I mean? but it's, it's 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 a schedule you know what I mean like you have seen this season where you seen a lot of peso mm-hmm. you seen a lot of whistle you seen a lot of me mm-hmm. you know what I mean now uh. Intellect finna come soon. Ronnie Rax coming soon. The first lady, the girl of the group. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? Uh, we got a couple more like tribe collective songs coming. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Produced by my boy Kangaroo. Um, and yeah, and Andre Wolf finna drop next week. You know what I mean? So guy. Big Wolf. You know, so like, so everybody get they get they section, and, and we and we ride and we ride it, and, and then that. we've learned that everybody got their own kind of niche. People mm-hmm. who like them the most, mm-hmm. so we're trying to thrive on those people who like them the Expand most. On that. Yeah, if you mm-hmm. think if you if whoever you think the best in tribe, thank you. Yeah, I mm-hmm. ain't gonna tell you no. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, what I, mean? I ain't gonna tell it. you no. If you if you think you think Andre Wolf the best, thank you. Yeah. I want you to thank you the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you think a pace of the best, please. Yeah, you know what I mean. You think Will's the best, go right ahead. Do you yeah. think Six One Tribe has done enough for the city to get behind y'all? It's up to them. Of course, I'm going to say yeah. You know what I mean? Of course, I'm going to say yeah. We've been in multiple publications. We've done not only shows and hit and sold out almost every show we've had in Nashville. Um, We've done side by Southwest through our own event, through our own, like, host. We, we, we're a production company, too. Yeah. Right? So we can throw on shows, too. Yeah. So we produce our own show. Every Ronald's there, Hope, Boom, Boom, Black, Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. um, 
we've done Milwaukee, Atlanta. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? We've done other cities, and, and we've been doing. Oh yeah, we're doing New York in November. How we got an interview with DJ Self in no in, in November. How much do you look for like the city to kind of bag y'all up? Do it ever kind of run across your mind like, hey, they should be doing more for us, or or you just grind it out? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm human once in a while. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. 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 Everybody, everybody got, got yeah. if they lying, and niggas be lying, yeah. they think they're they cool. Yeah. And like they, everybody feel like, damn, why these niggas ain't once in a while? But mm-hmm. those thoughts be so minuscule, be honest with you, because cause the work got to keep going. I'm, I'm so in that, one that bag right yeah. now, you yeah. know what I mean? Thank God, you know what I mean? Because I know. Well, not I, one track matter, but you're just so focused. You have yeah, because yeah. I, I remember, that, that when, I, I remember yeah. when I didn't have real, see, and, and you can't, when you're really working, you ain't really got time to. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't even sometimes know what's really going on. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even know what's, what's really happening. I'll be looking at people's stories, figuring out what's going on in the city yeah. sometimes. Like, right. I just saw it was a list today. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> I just, Lord. I just Talking saw, about this list. I just saw Hold on, list. wait. Before we Today. get into the list. No, listen, guys. Listen, before we get into the list, because I want to I wanna, I wanna double back on you talking about Ronnie, you know, being the uh, female of the Six Month Tribe yeah, yeah, group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and just talking about the history of female hip-hop and female MCs in, in Music City, yeah. just in general. Um, talk about, like, I your them. experience. I well, I know now, but talk about <laughs> back when you, you know what I'm saying, when y'all, you know what I'm saying, Me when you first I got started. Every, all, every, when women would see, I, that's something I can't speak because I'm not a woman. So I can't speak on no, experience. I was going to say, name some of the, do, do oh, you remember Lil any? Lil oh, you know what I'm saying? Lion, Mariana, what you mean? Like, well, I mean, well, no, no, not right now. Not the artist right now, but, but I'm they, talking they about. They were coming up when I was coming up. I, see, I was, I was, you got to think it's 2010, 2011. They, right. were, they were the artists there still. Okay. They, they were like, Mariana been been out for a minute. For sure, yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm very well. Lil Lion, she was in that pack with us when, when we was coming up and stuff like around people I know and stuff like that. So these are when Sweet Poison been out here. Like yeah. this ain't, this ain't, these ain't, these ain't kind of new grinds. Like I know Squeak. I've been knowing Squeak for years. Like yeah, these ain't yeah. new we grinds. Here, yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, me been pumping for the last five, six years. Yeah. These ain't new grinds. The people caught up. Yeah. You yeah. dig what I'm it's saying? It's just new to the people. The people caught up. You feel yeah. And I say, I always say, this, this is the time of the woman. Yeah, it's, it's society. It's, it's time of the female. It's society. This is just a time of the woman the right now. I keep saying so, it's the year and it's female. okay. And it's okay. You, as, as 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 a man, you got your role too. Still, yeah, you're a man. Like you gonna you, you, go go celebrate, nigga. You figure you figure it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's all in my mind. Like go hustle harder, nigga. You figure it out. <laughs> if, you know what I mean? If, if, if you're supposed to break through, so if you go break through. So if it's the time of the woman, why haven't six one tribe said, "Hey, we gonna get behind you right. and put." You out there because when she drop, it's cool. It's divine timing. Okay. He said they got a they got a lit they got a schedule. When she drop. Okay, and because and because and because she has to be ready. I mean, I mean, I was talking to her yesterday. She she goes from she want to do an EP sometimes. She want to do an album sometimes. It's when she ready. She's figuring out she got to figure out how how mm-hmm. she ready to drop and stuff and stuff like that. But when she hits you in the mouth, it's gonna fuck you up. Do you think? Okay, and I'm glad you said that. Do you think it was a more of a handicap now that artists can actually do what they want to do? Considering the past, like you had, you had, like you can put your own music out now. You can really make all your own decisions. Do you think that's that's more of a handicap when it's coming to artists just being able to do their own thing? It's different. I don't know if it's a handicap. I think, I think, I think what's a handicap is that the infrastructure's changed. Mm-hmm. So. There is no real A and R's for real no more. There's no real artist development. So even when you ask me like why, why we ain't putting cause we cause Ronnie Ronnie developed herself a little bit too. She she okay. getting herself ready. And I don't want nobody to what's rush. ready. I don't I don't whatever the person feels. That's okay. always up to a person. I can't what's ready for me ain't ready for you. But you know but, what I mean? It's up to the person. So you, I don't never want to rush nobody to art. Mm-hmm. Because but for, to answer your question on the direct level, there is no real um Infrastructure for it. You seeing CEOs dropping like a flies right now. Industry, the music industry is dying literally in front of our face. Mm-hmm. Like people are literally messing with the the um the uh how things are supposed to happen because there is no real industry. Labels are consolidating. They doing like they doing some higher up shit, some bully ball. Or when you yeah. come when you come to about the executives right now. Lucy Grange and all them type guy like this getting big on that. So music as a whole has suffered because the infrastructure has suffered. And some reason because of how artists can put music out. Yeah. Because we can just push it out. 
And the independent artists can kind of just do what they want to do. If you can find a niche, you find your fan base, find your first 10,000 people that really want to support you and really want to rock with you, and you build off that. I don't know the label because the label doesn't find artists in town no more. They wait on the, the talent to find them. You know, when you, when you have a meeting with a label, how many followers you got? Yeah. Well, how, many, how many uh, plays and views you got? They want what that them watch first. Out looking like. They not developing artists. They looking for the all developed themselves. You got you got a package deal to bring to them so they can expand out. Six One Tribe is a label, right? Production company. Okay, production yeah. company. Yeah. What's the difference? Uh, we can do more than just a. Uh, we can actually produce events under the uh, LLC, which is an actual legal thing to do. But also, uh, we house. We can house artists like a label, but we don't restrict you like a label. But uh, so if I'm if, a if, label if, restricts you, a, la- a label restricts. Restricts you to the point where, like you might have a production deal with your artist, right? Yeah. In a production company, and you and you say we, uh, we dropped six one tribe albums. Yeah. You get this percentage, boom, boom, boom. But when it comes to your solo, we don't touch none of that unless you you produce the album in house with us, and we still take only twenty five percent. You keep seventy five percent of your shit. If I'm coming on the boat with six one tribe, though, like what are you guys promising me? Say it again. If I'm coming on the boat with Six One Tribe, I'm saying, "Hey, I'm finna get down with y'all." Like, what? What's what? What are you promising your artists? Or, but like, what are the perks? Perks of studio time for free. For, okay. No, they okay. ain't, ain't no artists. That's good. I like that. <laughs> ain't no artists. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no artists to try ever pay for studio time. Okay. Ever. Good. Um, in house production. So we have producers in house. We have beat pools already. They come in. We get beat packaged every time time to work on a new album and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Already that the uh the relationships that some of us are already levied for you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You think you think I ain't gonna be the only one on here on this talk, on this show, you crazy. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> like you think I'm, what? You know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, yeah, pace on the run right now. I need you to call, yeah. you to call, I call. I need you on the run right now. I need you to call yeah. my boy, you feel me? So that's those those things like that as well. Um thing, uh and you can record your solo stuff free as well too. So, like I said, if you want to do a whole in production where you want to do your whole thing with us, cool. Come in. It's it's six one tribe actually seeing some money come in from start. Music. Yeah, we 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 gotten paid from shows and stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah, we got paid for the shows. Could we put them on ourselves? Put in boom, and we've gotten booked for show. Like some people, like hey, we trying to book you for a show. This much, boom, boom, boom. Split it, split it down. How we split it? But also, we we understand that we're trying to reinvest in everything. So it goes back into stuff like this. Yeah. You know, it don't, it don't, it don't, like, I don't, you feel what I mean? For me, I, I, I'm i not even caring about making money if I can pocket some money. Okay. I'm trying to reinvest it back into promotion, reinvest it back into better equipment, reinvest it into what the artists need something for a new mic for themselves. We got to do Love You Out of Tune. So I'm, I'm looking at Out of Tune mic prices. Facts. Oh, cool. We done made, we done made, we done made, a, a, and I, I bring it to them straight up. When we do a trash, I like, so, we can split this three thousand dollars between us, but even e- even when you do a tribe show, yeah, how do you pick? Like you're gonna perform, you're gonna perform, you're gonna perform. Oh, um, I said I, I arrange all the set list, so we we have enough music. All, all our all our shows are at least. Uh, I'm gonna perform every time. I'm just no, if I'm they, on they if I'm on the lane. Ninety nine percent of the time they do. We do tribe shows. Okay, everybody's performed if they if they're available. Okay. Sometimes, you know what I mean? If they available, you know what I mean? Because we had a couple of, hey, I got a show tonight. My own, cool, do you think? You know what I mean? But if they available, we uh, we do a set, we do arrangement. None of our shows have been less than an hour, hour and a half. Mm-hmm. So we got an hour, hour and a half long sets. Everybody performs multiple times. Okay. You know what I mean? You, you, might, you, might, you might do three songs, four songs in the night. You know what I mean? So that's every time. What we're doing for like an award show. Okay. Mm-hmm. Limited time. Yeah. Only six, seven oh, yeah, minutes. Mostly. It's an abridged show. Mm-hmm. Maybe seven of us perform. Mm-hmm. Maybe. But because we have musicians in Tribe too. So we're doing the Nemo Award. Give they an may not be actually rapping, but they could be. Uh, Nemo Awards, for example. Like, Nemo, Nemo Awards, for example. Saying. Andre, we're doing we're doing a thing for Nema boys. Shout out to Nema. Shout out to Nema. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing performance with Nema. Okay. Live mm-hmm. band is required. Okay. Andre Wolf yeah, he's a is a drummer, good bass guitarist, and keyboard player. My mix engineer, and bitter part Aaron, is also a guitarist. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Namir Blade is a dr- drum guitar. So we got a three band band, 
And then you got the vocalist, you got me, you got Intellect, you got Cashmere Crew, you got uh, Quay, and you got uh, uh, Stepson. We're doing two records. Boom, boom. Thank y'all. Boom, boom. We're going to win that award. Thank you, boom, boom. And, yeah. and, and, yeah. 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 We yeah. all going to win. You know what I'm saying? You we see. need them. And, 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 and then yeah. boom. <laughs> and, and then boom. And then, yeah. So we do stuff like that. Yes, in the bridge show. So yeah, everybody not going to perform on a seven, a six minute, a six minute set. But everybody be there. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Suited and booted, ready to get that award. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so we 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 and we support we support like we support each other. Mm-hmm. When Wizzle when Wizzle had his uh, listening party for for his project, we was there. Yeah, we was just there thugging like that's 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 Wizzle moment. Yeah. yeah. We get behind each other, you know. That's why they call us the Wu Tang of the South. That's why they be calling us the new Wu Tang. I, 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 I love it because <laughs> you know because mean? when Method Man drop, everybody get behind Method Man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? When 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 Raekwon drop, everybody get behind Raekwon. When it's time to get behind everybody, then we all come together. You know what I mean? I love it. I love the concept. I love the camaraderie. And I love how genuine it is amongst you guys in real life, like in person. And then, you know, also just watching, you know, just seeing y'all, you I know, constantly it. grow. So. And we're trying to change the standard of what music industry is. Like, we've been hearing the standard. This is the standard of music. This is what's not, we're trying to change what the standard is. No other place where you can go get 75% of nothing on no label. I, and I, I want to go back to, to my first question, what I asked. Um. What do you think the hip hop scene is actually at right now in Nashville? What do you think? Okay, one hundred percent. Where are we at? Triple A finna go into the major league. Mm-hmm. Got some good Triple A teams. Mm-hmm. Got good Triple A players. Okay. We got some. We got. We got some real. What I mean by that, I don't mean by they. They have Triple A talent. Mm-hmm. They have major league talent. But as far as the city as a whole, Being we seen. are we are in that where we fin and we've had a couple of major league come from our people. You know what I mean? We had so we know we can get there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We know it's possible. Yeah. And that's kind of where we at. You know what I mean? Which is which is nothing's wrong with that. But the leap from uh <laughs> the leap from good to great, that's a long ass leap. And people misjudge that leap. Mm-hmm. Have you ever wanted to go see a good artist? You want to go see a great artist? I want to go see a great artist. Like, like good, good is actually the good is like the 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 villain of great. Because a lot of people settle right here. Mm-hmm. Are we straight, bro? We good. <laughs> we we, yep. we got a little bug. We woo 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 woo. And they don't. And and some stops them from something that wants to get to that next level. I be itching at home, mm-hmm. trying yeah. to figure out how do I. Get to okay. How okay? They they look at me like this. How do I get from this level to boom like the Mario sense. jump? How do I get the mushroom? How do I get the boom boom and really bump me up to? And that's that's. And the, I think we've all resorted to like collaboration. Like that's the next step for us all. When you say okay, now that I've got to this point, like I feel like we all collectively are mentally at the point of like mm-hmm. we have to collaborate with mm-hmm. one another. You know what I'm saying to make this thing work. And that's different avenues. It's not you're not gonna be, just be collaborating with rappers. You may be collaborating with a uh, athlete. You may be collaborating with a pastor. You yeah, may but be you're yeah, looking at what's going on in the city. Everybody's just doing work. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not, you got, you got, you got Kazi and Lowe's doing a radio station, uh, mm-hmm. uh, having a casual uh, show. Cash and then because, radio. because, because, because they, man, they rock with, they, who they rock with now, you got Ro Marquez in the, uh, in the, uh, in the Titans, a uh, double thing for the commercial thing. Everybody and then you got, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then you, you got, cool, you got Tribe doing what we doing, but then. Bree's doing what he's doing. Mm-hmm. But then me and Bree got something coming up we uh, we doing pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? It's not music related, but right. it's music related. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's it's not, it's not a show. Yeah. It's yeah. not a show, yeah. but it's music related. Yeah. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? We're working with some mental health people and stuff yeah, like that as well. Mm-hmm. And then we go to New York. My boy, uh, Jay Lawrence, who uh, work, uh, Jay Lawrence. That's Jay. That's my, yeah. that's my dog. That's I'm my dog. Jay. Jay, cool. I said, I said, you know, I'm going to New York, man. I know you work with. Oh, so we get up. I already got the studio. I already know who you meet with. Boom, boom, boom. That's how. Mm-hmm. That's how it's also, working. Also, artists, open your mouth and speak. Yeah. Talk. That's that web work. Please go about. talk, bro. You ain't that cool yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ain't. You ain't that cool <laughs> yet, yeah. dude. Yeah. Go yeah. talk to somebody. Yeah. yeah. Somebody want to help you. Yeah. yeah. I can't look at everybody like, oh, man, niggas don't fuck with me. I'm woo woo blah, say, blah. That's victim mentality. That's it. Go talk. Mm-hmm. If I don't talk to Ricky, none of this happens. Yeah. Facts. 100%. That's and it. after this, Ricky going to think of something. 
Yeah. Actually, yeah. if I was thinking about putting you on, boom, 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 I'm going to know something like that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Because now you we, share everything. You know, now, now, we, now, I know. now we see, okay, some things in line. Let me connect. Uru, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. How can I help? How can Every I round I see, got something going on, she out. Hey, G, I'm thinking about, I bet. Yeah. If you need me, if you need me, I'm there. Yeah. But look, Ricky, I wanted to say, you see how his conversation is different um, just from some of the other Nashville, Cashville artists from Nashville as, as far as support, you know, because Most some definitely. people feel like, oh, I don't get no support. But he he feels like, he, I, sh- I am my support. You know, yeah. my way. You know what I'm saying? We and I build my support. I am and my support. support. And I support is support also an enemy for artists, too. Like, people people want support and don't want people. Like, when, when Ricky asked me a question, how are you making money? Yeah. Support don't make always you be money, and it ain't always about money. Monetary. Right. So when you looking for support, or you want support, you want people some, you want some money. You say what you really want. Yeah, you trying to get paid. Yeah, or you want support. That's it. Because support looks a thousand different ways. That's it. I think. Look, I'm I'm gonna tell you. I love that. I think support comes with money too. Even you talking about Adriana show, her daddy the dough. He tried to let me in. I said, no, I'm paying to get in. No, I'm paying to see. Uh, I feel like that some people are worthy to get paid to see. And no then, matter what. But I feel like if you move, if that individual, that human is moved to move in that way, let let it let it be. But then some people, some people maybe ain't got it, but really want to support. Most definitely, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I feel like that that and in, in that people, instance can go both ways. If you can. I'm if you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always if you, know you can. It's always if, if you, you can. can. And no, and that type of and that type of support, and that's why we ask all do you want support or are you trying to find a way to get made paid? Yeah. Because those two right. different things. Yeah. You trying to find a way where somebody will pay you you a fee. And mm-hmm. you want you want that support. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want you want you want your you want your support to be with a dollar sign. You want to tell people how to support. Yeah. You, you want you want yeah. yeah. Like you want. So if you say you want some money, you you have not garnished maybe enough to get money yet. Mm. It's okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Working. It, keep working. Keep working. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you 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 have not you have not done enough in people's eyes where you're worthy of that yet because because mm-hmm. because worth and value is two different things. Like your self worth, how you feel about yourself? You all gonna feel like you the shit. Mm-hmm. Talk. You, you all gonna feel like you the best thing ever. You better. Yeah. You should. Mm-hmm. But the value that you can put next to a dollar amount, it's two That's different things. Top. That's on the top. That's two different things. What have you done to get gain value to where I want to spend my money that I didn't work for? On you. On you. Mm. And niggas don't want to tell that part of it yeah. because people at like. It should be automatic. Yeah. You're my dog, you should come. Whoa. <laughs> I'm a father. I'm, I'm, I'm a father. How do it? A... What's your product? What you doing? And if I fuck with it, I'm going to fuck with it. Facts. Yeah. I don't need somebody to tell me to do that, though. Yeah. yeah. That's the difference. It's all I think. Like, I, don't, I don't need to be, I don't need you to be popular. For if I like it, I like it. Yeah, yeah facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it's cool, it's cool. If I fuck with, I fuck with. Because you you can be the most pop nigga. And I don't like none of this shit. You know what yeah, I mean? So, I think that's the thing. I think all I think all this thing. Uh, I, I see this. I see that 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 mentality of man. Navy only mess with who popular. Navy only do this who popular. Bro, I look my next problem. Give you my next project album right now. Come out next year. The most popular underdog. I ain't never had full support from nobody. Yeah. Everything you didn't see me do, I didn't just yeah. made it happen. I ain't never had a lot of support. Yeah, facts. I ain't never been nobody's favorite rapper. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't miss a lot of lists. I don't see yeah. you yeah. slam on those lists. I, <laughs> didn't, I, didn't see, I didn't miss a lot of lists. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, but I'm saying, but th- this is a misconception too. But they know that list ain't never got me. No money, huh? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It shouldn't even. It shouldn't even affect you. But this is this is something too. You know, some people I'd never heard their music. And they might come to me like, I'm this and I'm that, but yeah, but I never have heard your music. You know what I'm saying? And so I think it's a misconception on that. Like sometimes artists put themselves in a place that they're not at. Yeah. It's okay to have a little delusion, but you can't be so delulu where you you not you're not talking to people how how, how, they, how they should be spoken to. Yeah. You ain't there yet, Holmes. It's okay to say that. I think a lot of people get misconstrued because of online stuff. Yeah. You no. Know, when you see when you see uh, somebody, somebody may have 20,000 followers, 15,000 followers, but also you just may be popular. You just may be, people may just, but you, but I don't. But do you uh, have an influence? I, I said, I said this, I said this a long time. Move. I said, I said it a long yeah. time. It's not, I said my last project, a uh, nigga know your name, but they don't know your song. Like niggas know your name, but they don't know, they don't know one record from you. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You might, I got, bro, I got 3,000 followers. I can get into any room. Thanks. That ain't, it don't equate. You got 40,000, you got 20,000 followers, you can't sit, you can't get 50 people to a show. Something ain't, 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 ain't adding up. So we got to figure out how we make things add up as artists to how your influence, how your name can get you to where you think your follower count or your popularity garnishes. That's what Avery Allen was talking about, influence. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can have a million, trillion followers, but where is your influence? You know what I'm saying? Power, power is not is not based, is, is based in relationships and how those relationships are carried. So we talking about influence and power and stuff like that. We we learned that through like Kanye West being a billionaire and then couldn't and then got dropped from everything because you ain't had no power. Money don't mean power. Just like followers don't mean power. It don't mean influence. Like it's it's somebody who who has a hundred thousand followers right now and can't pull a crowd of forty people. Mm. They can't get merch sold. When I dropped my merch leg two years, when we dropped merch, but it, it, that's that generation though. You forty you pieces, forty pieces, two weeks. Yeah. We got to re up. Mm-hmm. That's that generation though. You know, oh, I'm gonna stay outside long on you too though. You know yeah, saying? yeah, I'm gonna stay outside <laughs> long on you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, I did, did, no, no, being, not to negate your hustle, but I'm just saying, you feel <laughs> me? Like, you see, it, you know what I'm saying? And then you got di- you got this new, you like our newer generation, it is social, just social media is like, it's different. Cause they was no, I was at your working. point. That's what I'm saying, I'm at yeah. your point. I'm gonna stay outside alone. You may be more popular than me. Yeah. You will not outwork me, bro. Yeah. You will yeah. not stay up longer than me. You will not Tinker your mind more than me when I'm at two, three in the morning trying to. You won't think of you don't want to you don't because you don't obsess over it. Mm-hmm. I obsess over it. Yeah, that's right. Like you, I, I all day He's think sleeping. about this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even when you think I'm not thinking about it, when you see me do a funny post or you think I'm just being funny and my close friends and being good, good. Man, I'm thinking about this. Yeah, <laughs> it's all I. It's all I know. I, I when I tried to not do this, mm. it called you back. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't like, even. Yeah, you need that, you need ah, yes, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Well, I can't. I, and and I felt like I was dying slowly. What do you think you add to the culture of Nashville hip hip hop? You yourself, authenticity, authenticity, Gen, uh, um, a flavor that we missing. Um, something that we we need. We 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 had it for a while, but we I'm from that cloth the uh, the the the, the Tupac's. We from that cloth of the Nipsies, okay. the Bun B's, the the Pimp C's, the we 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 from the, that 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 cloth. I'm just a younger version of that. I'm just I'm just a new version of that. They all talk to me at night. You feel know mm-hmm. I me? Mean? They talk, hey man, carry it for us, bro. You got it. If, Appreciate it. If a label is coming in, saying, hey, we want Wizzle, we want uh, is they he better go six one try. He better go. Okay. Okay, so six one tribe if, ain't saying if 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 he if he can't negotiate what we bring it, you better go. It's same thing St. Louis tickets did with Nelly. You better go. I yeah, I dude, smack if he. That's my nephew. That's my. I, I love. I, that's my. He gonna he gonna do what he's supposed to do Ooh. regardless. Yeah. For his morale and and his and his principles as a person, but they say, hey man, we only want you. Mm. You better go. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's what you know. Because yeah. tribe to click. Yeah. We still, it's still gang. It's still cool. Yeah. That's it's still you. Family. And you can still, and 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 and, and the thing about it with kind of business nowadays, we don't we don't gotta just take anything no more. You know, back in the day you just had to take what, what came with stuff. Like you can negotiate some things now yeah. too. If they come to you nowadays in 2024, you already done enough. Mm. You can kind of negotiate your get your deal a little different than if it was two thousand four when you was off the street and they just found you, Facts. and you was dead broke, and 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 it's and, like and twenty thousand dollars and 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 a new chain could just buy you mm-hmm. because you had nothing. Yeah, they always develop and sit you on the shelf for two three years. Not twenty twenty five, twenty twenty four. If they if they say, Whistle, we heard the album. <laughs> we love it. This is sort of hey, good. we 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 we, we, we here. You got this little your friends over here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And yeah. stuff like that. But we really only want what we, what we with you. Okay. 
artist, get real, find a role. Then find a role. Will, if you trust me, then let me just help you there. Mm. I ain't got to be rapper for you. I manage you or something, I right? I do. I find a role. I find a role while I'm still working on my own solo. While I'm still being an artist. Yeah. I still be an artist. But if we got to push, if they, they say they, they coming for the person, like you said, to push the person up, you got to be realistic in what we got to do now. Now, mm-hmm. now we got to shift gear. We got to shift gear. gear. This is where the yeah. pivot at. Yeah. It's pivot for the progress. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So we got to figure that out. You feel know I me? Mean? That's what they want. Cool. They yeah. they they come and say, Slab, we only want you. We don't. Cool. That's how we're going to do this. Yep. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure y'all structure my deal, whatever my, whatever my 100% of my 100 is. 20% go, go. I'm going to go. I'm send that. Right. And I'm not requiring nobody in tribe to do that. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. You. Yeah, fact. Yeah. Because yeah. that's my company still. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. But if somebody say, hey, pay so, hey, we. Hey y'all, I'm probably finna be on tour. I'm probably, hey, I love you, bro. Do your thing. Yeah, mm. Try. Let me. Uh, we. They want the songs you're doing right. I'm, sure I'm on at least seven, seven of them. Well, I'm, yeah. See, I'm still gonna get it. I get on stage. That's and then I gotta yeah, maximize that uh, opportunity. Do you think that's why they respect you because they understand that you ain't trying to put a hold on them? I'm not. I think. I think that's part of it. I think it's part of it. Yeah, I think. It. I think. Uh, it's something I learned from a Mass P. Is when Mass P, when Snoop was in Mass P. Mm-hmm. I studied this shit for real. Facts. When, yeah. when, Snoop, when Snoop was in Mass P, he was getting out of Death Row deal and all that type of Snoop, and, and Mass P saved him from that deal. Yeah. And when Snoop figured it out for himself and feel like, how I can start a dog father and I can start all this type of stuff, Mass P's gonna go to him. And Snoop's still keeping it real with Mass P this day, every time it comes so out. So if I gotta make a, so if I, so when I, I still focus on my own hustle and I gotta make a call, cause maybe my little man got, 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 got in skyrocketed. I can make the call. Yeah. Because it's still structured there. Yeah. Me and my uh my little partner talk all the time, like, like what's wrong, wrong, wrong with a lot of the uh the older cats who are in they you know, I'm 34, so I'm young old, you feel me? Yeah. So but the niggas when they forties and they fifties and they don't want to let quote unquote let it go, why the young niggas don't respect them is because of that. You hold them and there's no structure. Y'all start calling little niggas big bro. Mm. Because they had more money than you. And that's why they start respecting you. Do you think it's um? Uh, do you think and because um, Skiller baby, he was just talking about that. Do you think it's a age gap on being a rapper? I think it's. I think the music industry has did it on purpose because in every other genre, you can go to contemporary rock. Yeah, you can go to soft rock, to where you can go to heavy metal, mm-hmm. to where Slipknot. It's not even gonna be in the category of Blink 182. It's not even close. Cause not it's not a it's not there should be no reason why the the new Jay-Z project is competing with the little baby project. Not <laughs> Lil Uzi Vert. Lil, or whoever like, the new young nigga with Squilla Baby. Yeah, there should be no baby. reason why that should be happening where you yeah. you where where you got Jay-Z competing right. with the same as Squilla Baby. It's, yeah. No, that's contemporary. That's a whole different category. What he's rapping about, what he's what he's trying, his mess trying to get off, ain't nothing what he's trying to get off. And nothing wrong with either of those. Um, that's the it's, it, that's why it's an age gap because the industry makes it to, to where they want to age people out because they want to recycle and keep killing y'all niggas. They want to keep killing while they nigga dying. They want to keep killing y'all niggas. Mm. They they doing it on purpose. They want they want you nigga dead. And can they eat off your funeral, eat off your insurance money. It's deeper than just just they they, they, they get more rules when they die. What? I want to look, and I want to pivot to something because I want to uh, go back to this because I want I want you uh, to talk about this too. A, hey, um, the Super Bowl. Do you agree? Because I got I I I got another take on it because I think we talked about it once. Do you agree that Little Wayne's not performing at the Super Bowl? In twenty twenty four, I agree. Overall, Little Wayne has gone as enough in his career to perform the Super Bowl. Okay. That's the statement. Yes, he deserves to perform at a Super Bowl. In 2024, the year that Kendrick Lamar had, there was only one choice. As a rapper, he's my rapper. We ain't my artist. We just my just rapper. Do you think Lil Wayne is, is ready for that Super Bowl performance? This year in 20? No. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, and I love I'm, Wayne. Yeah, me too. I love Wayne. To death. 
Could I do I think he could uh, uh and I'm I'm gonna tell you why, and it's, 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 it's twofold. Do I think Luane could put get a 13 minute performance that would be fire right now? Yes. For the Super Bowl, yes. I do agree with that. Do I think the people that put that together believe that? No. No. It's not about if 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 we as a fans believe it. They have to question if he gonna be high. Mm-hmm. If I gotta question that and think about it. That's big. That's billion dollar money, dog. And it, it ain't fair. I, I ain't, it ain't about being fair. That's just yeah. what it is. Yeah, that's, that's just billion. That's, that's, that's billion dollar bucks right there. If I got a question, is he gonna come? And it's been you know when, when stuff like it happened, your reports start coming out. You know, make rehearse. They they saying mm. certain stuff about him and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. When those things come out, now that's bad media and press to even think about. Even even they were thinking about. Even they thought it was gonna be backlash that Kendrick performed. And once they heard all the other stuff about Wayne, now nah, we cool. So. And people, people, uh, uh, what's what we're looking for? Uh, interview for the Super Bowl, not a direct interview, but over you. Usher was doing Vegas show for two years. That's his. That showing his how he can do shows and we're doing doing the skating stuff and and doing. And he was showing you his showmanship. Yeah. And then boom. And some people are who we want to. We've been wanting like when Rihanna got his Rihanna. Sorry. That's just um, pregnant, I didn't like the performance, pregnant, but I'm sorry. Not it's Rihanna, pregnant. But I didn't it's like Rihanna. It, you know, that's what it didn't matter because it's Rihanna. To anybody else. Yeah. they didn't kill. You know what I mean? Cause I, you know, I get to see her. You know, I, I ain't seen her. I ain't, I ain't see yeah. a ghost. I ain't yeah. seen her. You know how the girl saying? And she did that pregnant girl. Yeah. That's yeah. all they saying. Yeah, she did that pregnant girl. She <laughs> when y'all see her, you couldn't do it. You couldn't. Yeah. So it, it still garnish what it's supposed to garnish. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? But you talking about rappers, there was no other choice in 2024. Mm. So it, it's just a straight business. It's a yeah, business. You got the big, you got the business, you got the biggest yeah. rap single to happen in years. Almost ever they somebody falls to not like us. Uh he won, he quote unquote took down the biggest rapper. Yeah, because and, you remember you know what I mean? Drake took down Meek Mill, quote unquote. Mm. So so when you see it, when you look at it like that, yeah. you feel what I mean? It's like yeah, I don't. I mean, it's, it's only certain rappers, rappers who can probably garnish and put that show together. How the, it, how the NFL want it? Maybe a Travis Scott, standard. Travis Scott. Yeah, you know, and and these are people. I'm just about just, just performing wise. Kanye West, Jay Z on the business. Jay Z on the business side, so he ain't doing it no more. Thanks. Uh, Lil Wayne is one of them. Mm. And Kendrick is the one, and Drake is one of them. Like these, these are the, the names you would think of who can do a big show. Yeah. And and make the super the, the halftime show and get the views and that's gonna everything. be contemporary people. It's not yeah. hip hop. It's not just us watching the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's mainstream. It's main super main. The it's the it's the biggest show on earth. They call it. Everybody stops and watch the halftime show, good or bad. Everybody wants it. That's the <laughs> good, main. Good or bad. You 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 study a lot. I know you study. I know you study the greats a lot. Is Puffy being treated right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, ass, get his ass on. Yeah, he fucked up, man. He fucked up. He fucked up because he fucked up. Okay. You saw something like, like you don't get to this point when people don't like you. Okay. Ain't nobody said free puffy. Do you yeah, think he is, he, he has treated the rap community like overall bad? Well, I think, you know I what think, I'm saying? I don't he know if he's a, treated it bad. He ain't treated good enough. I feel like a contribution to why it's so corrupt. I ain't going to say, he, you know what I'm saying? He is the reason, but he is a contribution. He's one, and what makes it bad Thanks. is that he's he's and such especially a, for women because you know so, I gotta speak for us. You know. <laughs> now you better, you better. Yeah. Look, but the thing about it, what makes it bad is because he's such a fabric of this thing as well. Mm-hmm. All at On the same sides. time. Yeah. yeah. So he's he's such a proponent of the evilness of it. Yeah. But he gave us so much of the good. Fucking every damn near how the niggas was dressing, how the flash he put them puffy made rap mainstream. Mm-hmm. Like he 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 was one of those people that contributed contributed to mm-hmm. to 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 white folks want to make this mainstream. On top of you being a monster mm-hmm. on the inside, yep. all the stuff we can we just gonna, we we can make look. I'll tell somebody I say look, the Lou, <laughs> the the the, the deal the whole lot, that's funny. Yeah, that's just, we can make it funny you on that. You know what I mean? Facts. You forcing people to have sex with you, you. Locking doors, lowering the temperature of the like, turning the air off so people get hotter and more tired. That's some 
That's the you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's what make it that fucked up. Yeah. You beating that girl in that hallway like yeah. it. We it's saw that. Yeah, yeah. It's, you yeah. can't Well, you can't that. come back. We, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's Ray Rice in the elevator. We saw yeah. it. Yeah. You feel me? So when it come to that, like, do I believe, like, him getting denied bail, I've seen murderers get, get, get their bail, though. Yeah. So I can probably say, probably, but they, it's an example. You, 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 you can treat it like an example. We trying to get rid of all y'all. They coming for y'all. They for them, 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 uh, them, them niggas from that last 30 years. But I think that's more spiritual than physical, but y'all ain't ready for that. Oh, no, they come. Oh, I, 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 yeah. I just think he done, year done the truth. so much. You year know the what truth. Saying? It's the year of truth, man. It's coming. Cat Whip said this earlier in the year. We went, he said Cat popped it off for he, 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 he let us know. He, he let us know. He said it on Club Shay Shay. Since, since, since yeah. then, it's been going it's down. Right? It's been going down. <laughs> From athletes to entertainment. It's going down. That's why they, that's why, you know, it's a new, it's a um renaissance time in music entertainment too. Mm -hmm. That's why it's great for what's Nadville going on Nadville too. Cause we getting we really in a renaissance we where, where we ain't, no, ain't finna be no head chair of anything. 